Rockstar Games recently released Grand Theft Auto 3 for the PlayStation 2, and uh, from what we've played of it, it's uh, going to be one of the best games to come out this year for the PlayStation 2. Uh, it basically takes everything that was great about the first two Grand Theft Auto games and just brings it into the next generation of consoles. You've got uh, you know, the full 3D perspective now instead of that old 2D top-down look, and uh, just the behind-the-back perspective just really makes the game a lot iller than uh, the first two games were. It's just, uh, you know, all the violence is still the same, but when you're looking at a guy just shooting another guy, that guy clack, peeling over, it just, uh, it, it's a much more grim, realistic uh, game. And as such, it's uh, definitely not for kids. If uh, there was any game that clearly defines the M rating, Grand Theft Auto 3 is the one. Uh, not only does it have graphic violence, but the storyline centers on, well, crime, basically. And, uh, you know, it touches on drugs, you know, there's lots of sexual innuendo, and basically it just runs the gamut of uh, things you don't want kids to see. So, if uh, you're not comfortable watching R-rated movies like, say, Goodfellas or Heat, then uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 is definitely going to be a turn-off. One thing GTA 3 does that the other two games didn't do is uh, it actually delivers a really cohesive plot. Uh, the previous games just kind of gave you all these random missions. You would go out and just be like, okay, you have to go blow up this guy. You have to go kill these people, and it got old really quickly. What this one does is that, you know, the missions are basically the same, but the little cutscenes between them really tie it together and give it a plot line. You start out working for the Mafia, then the Mafia double-crosses you, you end up going to a different part of town, working for somebody else. So you're constantly kind of moving around, playing the gangs off each other, and it, uh, it, it turns into a pretty compelling story as it goes along. Uh, what really makes the story great is it's uh, supported by some really great voice work. Uh, they got some really good talent in the game. Michael Rapaport is in it, uh, of Metro fame, as well as Joe Pantoliano, Frank Vincent, and uh, and lots of others. Uh, but even the, the the characters that aren't like the principal characters in it that are just done by you know stock kind of voice actor type people, everything is just really well done, and it uh, it definitely lends the game an atmosphere that wouldn't be there otherwise. Like the other Grand Theft Auto games, GTA 3 really brings together uh, you know, a lot of freedom. There's a whole lot to do in the city. It's a very living, breathing city with a lot of pedestrians. And uh, the 3D nature just makes it really seem incredibly immersive. You can stick to the storyline and, and go that route and play the game the way it was really designed to be played. And you know, that'll get you to the end of the game. Or you, know, you can take breaks and just kind of do stuff. There's a lot of little side missions. You can get into cop cars and uh, do vigilante cop missions. Ambulances, you can go pick up the sick and take them to the hospital. Taxis, you can do like a little crazy taxi style side mission sort of thing. Or you can just cause trouble in the streets. You can pretty much steal any car you want. Uh, you just walk up, push a button, he'll jump right in, throw the guy out of the car, and, and then you're going. Uh, you can beat people with bats. You can beat them with your hands. There's a lot of different weapons. Um, and basically kind of just go on a one-man crime spree with uh, no real point to it, uh, except it's incredibly fun. Of course, doing this does alert the cops to your presence, and you will kind of attract different levels of police response the, the iller your crime spree gets. And when it starts out, you know, cops will chase you a little bit. They won't go all out to get you. You know, if they just see you stealing a car or, you know, see you punch someone out. Not that really big of a deal. If you start uh, stealing cop cars, pointing guns at cops, it gets a little more dramatic. They don't go away quite as easily. They try and ram you off the road and bust you. Past that, you know, the cops eventually just kind of give up on busting you and just try and gun you down in the street. Uh, that usually requires you to do something pretty bad. Uh, later on, you'll see helicopters, which you can, of course, shoot out of the sky with a rocket launcher, and uh, even more varied forms of police response, including FBI, who basically roll up in an unmarked car, four of them jump out of the car with automatic rifles and gun you down where you stand. And then once you get really crazy, the military gets involved. That can only really happen towards the end of the game, but the military pretty much just puts you down. Overall, Grand Theft Auto 3 is just an amazing game. The freedom that it allows you, combined with the compelling story elements uh, used throughout the game, really just you know, make it a game that anyone can get into, provided that they're okay with the subject matter. And you know, it's, again, very violent game. Probably the most violent game you'll see in a long time, you know. Shooting people, pulling people out of cars, you know, cop cars blowing up. Not for everyone, but if it's something you can handle, 
and something that you know sounds interesting to you, you know, this is definitely a game you should pick up. It's a, it's a thrill ride that you won't soon forget.